Hello everyone. This is Professor Dr. Osama Kamal Chair, Professor of Andrology at the Faculty of Medicine, Cairo University, Egypt. Today I will be show demonstrating the various types of penile implants or penile prostheses that can be used for the treatment of erectile dysfunction. And as previously discussed in uh, a couple of videos that I have uh, produced previously, the penile prosthesis or penile implantation surgery is a definitive treatment for resistant cases of erectile dysfunction that do not respond to medical treatment. This is a one-day surgery. It is performed through um, a, a two to four centimeters uh, long incision, a tiny incision actually, uh, and the patient is discharged at the same day with full erection. Uh, and he is capable uh, thereafter of sustaining erection for as long as he wants to and to perform coital activity for as frequently as he would like to. And uh, penile prosthesis surgery maintains the normal sensation or sensitivity of the penis, uh, maintains the uh, normal desire and the normal pleasurable uh, feeling uh, that is part of the sexual experience. Uh, there are no um, outer uh, or external uh, prosthesis to be visible to the patient or partner. The penis looks totally natural with no uh, nothing artificial about it at all, uh, whether as regards uh, the external appearance or regards the internal feeling of the patient. So, we have two main categories of penile prosthesis, the semi-rigid prosthesis or implant and the inflatable implant. The semi-rigid implant is one that contains a metal rod inside surrounded by a silicon coat. The silicon coat is biocompatible. The human body uh, embraces this silicon coat as if it is one of its own organs. So it has um, a very low rejection rate. The external or the outer uh, feeling of the, or uh, the outer, uh, how do we say it? Um, the way you feel this silicon coat is like uh, a rubber eraser head. It is. It simulates the feeling of uh, a natural erection, which is rigid but not uh, metal hard. It is uh, firm rubber hard, not metal hard. Now, this is uh, the main type of the semi-rigid penile implant, and it is bendable, as thus, such that it does not protrude from the clothes when you are uh, resuming your regular. Uh, uh, social activities while in the sexual activity you push it forwards and upwards like thus to maintain the penis in the erect state now usually we implant two rods of those inside the penis and they come in various lengths and uh, breadths they come in uh, three uh, categories of width and in uh, many categories of length. Uh, inside the surgery, during surgery, we calibrate and measure the internal dimensions of the penis as regards length and as regards width. And we select the prosthesis or the implant that suits this very uh, width or this very length. Um, having both of those together inside the penis gives very firm rigidity. So if we apply axial pressure, they are hardly bendable. They are very hard to bend. While if we apply vertical pressures, thus they bend downwards and the penis is maintained in this uh, uh, dropped state so as not to embarrass you and appear uh, through your clothes, through your regular clothes, I mean. Uh, there is another type of um, penile prosthesis or penile implant, a semi-rigid implant, that takes concealment one step forwards, one step further. This is, this implant is produced by American Medical Systems, while the former implant that we have discussed is produced by Coloplast, among other companies. Now this implant produced by AMS, American Medical Systems, is composed of articulating joints. These joints allow the prosthesis to be bent even more flexibly and to an even um, more acute bent, such as 
to take the uh, um, uh, curvature of the scrotum and be concealed in a better way. And as previously mentioned, we implant two of those together, such as such that they give very firm axial rigidity upon pressure, while if they are pushed downwards, they bend very easily. And this is an advantage of the American medical systems uh, prophecies, not to undermine the uh, very um, reliable, the very high reliability and the time test that the coloplast prophecies has enjoyed. So it is very difficult to select uh, one or the other. But if concealment is your primary aim, uh, maybe the AMS is has a slightly better edge upon the coloplast. Nevertheless, they are both very uh, um, reliable implants. Now, this was the first category of implants, which is the semi-rigid implants. And let me say that there are other companies that produce so, uh, those implants, including Promidone, um, Maxima, among others. Now, the second category of uh, penile implants is the inflatable penile implant. This is an example of an implant. It is in the flaccid state or uh, when you uh, are into your regular social activities and daily life, it is flaccid. The penis is flaccid. This resides inside the penis and it is totally soft. This is attached to a pump and this pump is placed inside the scrotum right next to the testicle, inside the skin. It is invisible to the patient or partner. Now, Compressing this cylinder, uh, this uh, uh, pump, pushes fluid into the prothesis and makes it very firm. And usually we place two of those cylinders in the penis. This is a demonstration piece. It comes as one cylinder only, but the prothesis that we implant during surgery is you is always actually always is a two-piece uh, uh, it has two cylinders um, this is called the two-piece prothesis the two p and by two piece we mean two cylinders and one pump the pump is considered a piece and the two cylinders are another piece there is um, another type of inflatable prothesis which is the three-piece prothesis where there is the pump as one piece the two cylinders as one piece and a reservoir that is placed inside the abdomen, inside the patient's tummy, uh, to hold more fluid. Uh, the three-piece prosthesis has the advantage of holding more fluid, which is uh, suitable for inflating uh, a larger sized penis. It is recommended when the penis is quite large. Uh, nevertheless, the two-piece uh, two prosthesis is suitable for most sizes, and again, uh, these prothesis come in various lengths and breadths so as to suit whichever size of penis at hand is at hand. Uh, I wish you all a happy sexual life. All the best, Professor Shahir.